I have a simple but yet delicious tasty treat for you today. Are you ready? Hey guys, what up? Welcome back. Jackie Cooks here. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Please take a moment and hit the subscribe button, like, and share this video. Have you ever just wanted a homemade juicy cheeseburger because you knew that that was the only thing that would satisfy you? The thing about making homemade burgers is you could put whatever you want. I enjoyed this juicy cheeseburger and it was incredible. With some freshly cut onions, some juicy red tomatoes, and fresh crisp lettuce. When we cut our own vegetables at home, they taste so good. We're going to be using ground chuck. I have about 80% lean, 20% fat, which gives it so much flavor and makes it tender. I have about five to six ounces here. I put all kinds of seasonings in this mix and I'm going to leave it below in the description box. And I did chop up some onions very, very fine because I love onions. You know what? I went to Walmart the other day and normally I check my receipts, but this particular time I didn't. And I got home and I was going through my receipt and they charged me $13 for a pack of cookies. Because of the firmness, the tomato is perfect for the cheeseburger. The onion will hold its shape and give it just a delicate crunch. Nice delicious fresh vegetables on a cheeseburger. To our skillet, I'm going to add about one tablespoon of unsalted butter. I will be using the Lano Lakes brand. I'm going to melt our butter and make sure it's distributed evenly. Yes. How about some toasted buns? I like toasted buns. I wanted some sesame seed buns, but I couldn't find none. The texture and the taste of the bun is so much better when lightly toasted. It just adds a little bit of flavor and it's good. Warm and crispy. Delicious, guys. How about that? Lightly toasted. Ooh. To our skillet, I'm going to add about an eighth a cup of olive oil and I'm just going to distribute that evenly. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add in our sliced onions about a quarter of an inch we're going to be making some caramelized onions or sauteed onions Ooh, they're going to be so good on this burger we're just going to let these onions sit here for about two to three minutes i'm going to list a few goodies that people like to put on their cheeseburgers what's your favorite is it chunky blue cheese bread and butter spears ranch dressing yellow mustard is it ketchup Hellman's Real Mayonnaise. Let me know in the comments, what's your favorite? Please tell me. My favorite is Hellman's Mayonnaise. I love it. I'm simple. We're just going to spread that on the top bun and the bottom bun is going to be good. I could taste it already. Now that our burger is ready with the delicious melted cheese, we're just going to put some ketchup on top. Another option that you have is that you can add bacon on your cheeseburger. We did squeeze a little mustard on top. Our onions are looking good, caramelizing, and a little bit burnt just the way I like them. Please list in the comments your favorite chips. Please, I want to know. Just in time. We're going to go ahead and lay those caramelized onions on top. Oh, they smell so good. Go ahead and put that tomato on there. Delicious red tomato. And we're going to add that fresh, crisp lettuce. Put the bun on top and get ready to bite. Oh, God. This is going to be phenomenal, incredible. And you know I got to have pickles. Pickles are my favorite. Yes. Go ahead. Take a bite. I'll let you take the first bite. If you have not subscribed, please make sure you turn on your bell notifications so you'll be notified every time I upload an incredible recipe. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Talk to me below in the comments and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching.